Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, this is the first time I'm using audio, and so I bought this mic from for like $11 off of Amazon. And so if it's not good, I'm sorry. <laughs> also, I'm using Windows Movie Maker to edit this video, and so it's kind of it's kind of it's free, and so that's really nice. Also, sorry for my voice; it always sounds like this. Which I, th I don't really like the sound of my voice, which is why I don't really record narration very often. So this is like a really new thing for me to do. Anyway, I wanted to post this video of me trying to imitate Ross Straw's style, where I fail kind of miserably at it. So in this video, he, he drew this picture during one of his videos uh, when he was reviewing a tablet, I think. And I don't have that tablet, so sorry. Um, but I really liked the drawing. I thought I picked it out because I thought it would be one of the simpler videos of him, one of the simpler drawings of him to try to imitate. And I was just trying to make it easy for myself, but it still didn't really work because he's a really amazing artist and I am very new at digital art and I also don't do it for a living. And so, yeah, my, my skills are way less than his. <laughs> I haven't been doing this very long, so... I tried really hard. I really tried really hard to imitate his style because I thought that his he has a, like a really really beautiful style, and I really like the colors that he uses, and just how like it looks kind of like soft and shiny and sparkly and color dodgy, and so I really wanted to try to imitate that. Um, also, I uh, had a lot of when I was doing this video, I I pre I prepared the. Uh, the sketch beforehand and so be like kind of like he does I guess so I prepared the sketch beforehand also because I was nervous to record that sketch part and I wasn't entirely sure at that point if I was going to make this video and so I was just I didn't record the sketch beforehand but I promise you I didn't trace it <laughs> I didn't I swear I didn't I just I used the reference but I didn't trace it I swear and you can probably tell because her face shape is way off. I tried to look, to copy the face shape and it didn't work. Her, her uh, face is a lot, I feel like, small. It looks smaller, I guess, than his does. Even though, um, because like the, uh, the jawline, I feel like, is a lot more na narrow, I guess. And I couldn't get like the facial expression right. Her eyes look kind of weird. I couldn't get her eyebrows right. And then... Uh, yeah, so that was wrong. <laughs> I tried fixing it, but it didn't work. It didn't work out, so I eventually left it alone and just decided to um, blame it on beginners um, not knowing what we're doing <laughs> type thing. So, yeah. Um, it was a really fun thing to do, and before you guys bash me on, I don't know, copying his art, I just, I, th I felt like it was more of a, a challenge, I guess, like a style challenge, like draw Ross Draws's style challenge, <laughs> which is really bad. Um, but anyway, I tried really hard to do this, so I hope you enjoy it. Some of the brushes that I used while filming this, I used just a normal default, I think, watercolor brush from Clip Studio Paint. I kind of played a little bit with some of the settings on it, but I don't remember what I did exactly. Because I don't normally use the watercolor brush, I usually just cell shade and like airbrush, uh, I guess, a little bit. Because I don't know, because I usually go for more of a comic type thing. So. I don't normally use a watercolor brush, but I decided to try it out anyway for this video for the sake of trying new things. <laughs> I also used a lot of the blending tools that they have on Clip Studio Paint. Also, towards the end of the video, Ross Draws usually uses color dodge. I don't know what the difference of color dodge is in Photoshop as compared to Clip Studio Paint, but I personally prefer um, glow dodge over color dodge for some reason although i again don't really know the difference between the two 
Um, so I used that a little bit towards the end of the paint. Eventually, towards the end of the painting, when I decided to kind of call it a day, I decided to also record myself drawing Nima in my own style. And so I was going to record it. I was I, I pressed the record button and everything on my little screen recorder. And after filling in just the normal base colors for my own style, it would not. It stopped recording, <laughs> and I didn't notice until I was already done. And so I apologize for that. I don't have the whole recording of me drawing it in my own style, which is not really my own style yet because I'm still figuring out what my style is exactly. I'm still working on that a lot. And so, but it's more of my style than the other first part was. But yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't, it, it stopped recording. So I don't have that footage. this video I put kind of the finished projects side by side so that you can kind of see them and compare I thought you know it was a lot of fun to do to do this project and I really hope you enjoy the video I really admire Ross Draw's art but anyway thanks for watching stay tuned I'll try to post uh, videos a little bit more often um, but probably not but if you have any uh, like comic comments or uh, suggestions for new YouTube videos or ideas like you wanna you wanna see me draw, just um, comment down below. Thank you. Bye.